Now, one of the questions people always ask is that, what is wrong with MVC? Right? Now, if you ask me this question, I'm going to say that there's nothing really wrong with the pattern of MVC. All right? Now, there have been lots of apps written using MVC design pattern, and they are you know, catering millions and millions of users, and they're running fine. The problem is that when people start using MVC, they start putting a lot of code in the controllers. Let's go ahead and look at the architecture pattern of the MVC. So in MVC, the controller becomes the bottleneck because you, the model code ends up over there, the view code, if you're modifying the view, it goes to the controller also. So what people usually do or developers usually do, they put a lot of code into the controller. Since controller is just a middleman, which is controlling the or orchestrating between the model and the view, it ends up being becoming massive and massive and massive and massive. And it is very hard to test these controllers. I mean, you can test controllers, but you have to mock them and so on. So it becomes very hard to test these controllers. Now, there are ways around that, uh, but those ways are, although you can implement that, but it will take a lot of work, like you have to create separate data sources, and you have to separate out everything by components and so on. So that's why, I mean, people start sometimes saying that maybe the MVC design pattern is a problem. But I do believe that MVC design pattern maybe is not as flexible as MVVM, but you can still design great apps using MVC design pattern if you take the time and love to make sure that each component is separate. But usually most of the people don't take that much time and they end up with a lot of code, hundreds and thousands of lines of code in the controller, which is not testable, and now you have a mess. So MVVM pattern is the pattern that will allow you to decouple your view with your model. So let's go ahead and check out what exactly is the MVVM pattern and how does it help to create leaner controllers and also to write more testable code. 